He was a son, a brother, a veteran, a police officer. And tonight, the community of Elwood is mourning the loss of Officer Noah Shanavez. The 24-year-old, on the force just 11 months, was shot this morning during a traffic stop, and the man accused of killing him arrested after a chasing crash. We have team coverage for you tonight on the fallen officer, the investigation, and the community's tributes. We'll start with Logan Gay in Elwood. This memorial outside the Elwood Police Department for fallen officer Noah Shanavez has continued to grow because neighbors here tell me this tragedy has shaken them to the core. Our hearts as Elwood community citizens are bleeding right now and we're in a lot of pain. A pain that's left them questioning why. I mean, when is it going to stop? Elwood rookie police officer Noah Shanavez was shot and killed shortly after 2 a.m. Sunday during a traffic stop. He was part of our city family. A senseless act of violence robbed this young man of the life and career that he had ahead of him. It happened near the intersection of State Road 37 and County Road 1100 North in Madison County. After getting pulled over, ISP said 42-year-old Carl Roy Webb Bors II from Anderson got out of his Buick and opened fire. Shanavez was hit at least once. Police said Bors then took off in the Buick. Bors was later spotted by police in Hamilton County. Officers arrested him after a chase that ended with Bors crashing into a median. Officer Shanavez was on the force in Elwood for 11 months. He's also an Army veteran. As this memorial continues to grow in his honor, state police say the violence has to stop. This young man served this country for five years and chose to come back and serve a local community. And this senseless acts of violence perpetuate our society and none of us understand why. I'm asking you to keep Noah's family, Noah's friends, the Elwood Police Department and our city in your thoughts and prayers as we attempt to navigate through this tragic time. And as police investigate, here's what we're learning about the Anderson man accused of killing Officer Shanavez. Carl Roy Webb Boards II is a habitual offender with a long criminal history. Take a look. That includes a conviction in 2006 for firing a gun at police after he got pulled over for driving erratically. Over the years, Boards also has faced charges for drug offenses, battery with a deadly weapon, resisting law enforcement, and possession of a firearm by a serious violent felon. Boards right now is in the Hamilton County Jail held without bond. Murder charges expected on Monday. As you saw, the Elwood community already showing its care and concern with the growing memorial around a police car. Our Rich Nye talked with people who interacted with Officer Shanavez in just the short time he served the city. People brought flowers, flags, and stuffed animals in memory of 24-year-old Elwood police officer Noah Shanavaz. They cried. They saluted, they prayed. I'm very upset, I'm very angry that somebody could so selfishly and, and maliciously just uh, take the hands of someone who gets up and puts the uniform on every day, consciously knowing that they may not come home to their family that night. And unfortunately, uh, last night we saw the reality of that. This little town only has about 8,400 people. Of course, not everyone knew Noah, but they had probably at least seen him drive by. My grandsons are at my house one night and they were out riding their bikes and stuff and he drove by and they asked him to turn his little siren on and he did He squawked it at him and they were just like overjoyed. So he just took little, did little things like that. Amanda Kine's future son-in-law is a police officer in nearby Anderson. It shakes you, you know, my, that could have been my grandson's father, you know, that didn't make a home to his child. So it shakes you. You can't make any sense of it, you know, like you just wonder what people are thinking. You know, at some point it has to stop. Elwood is a small town that honors its hometown heroes every day. Now they remember a hero who died on the thin blue line.